Arms, welcome to another moment with Anne Wakama. And um, today we have a topic husband call off wedding on the wedding day. Oh, sh- this is a true life story that actually happened in Nigeria. I have video clips to this, which I'm going to be showing you shortly, and we have a lot to talk about. But if you're new here, I want to especially welcome you. This is Hatara TV, and um, I want to also encourage you to subscribe to this channel also turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post just wait i'm going to show you something take a short break and i'll be back shortly so you stay tuned Welcome back. Husband call off wedding. And this is shocking to me. Well, before I even started watching the video, I want to just share what was actually running through my mind. After sharing it, I'm going to also show you the clip, the full clip of what really happened about this couple. Why the man actually called off the wedding. But before then, when I came across this video, I was mad, I was angry, I was grieved, I was in pain. Because one, the kind of embarrassment that must have come to them is not just comparable. How would you both look at yourself? You say, okay, yeah, you want to settle down, you want to get married, and you allow the devil to come in between both of you. You allow things of the world, you allow things of the past, you allow things that people talk about or imagine about you both to come to pass between you both. Two people find themselves and they find love and they decided, okay, now that we have found each other, let's get married. I'm sure there's something that must have touched them to actually make up that decision that, okay, yes, let us get married. Let's push this forward. Before both of them must have come to this consensus to agree, I'm telling you, it might not have been a, a day job. It might have, they might have gone through a lot of thinking to decide this. Now, after deciding this, what could have gone wrong? Sometimes people prepare for wedding, they don't prepare for marriage. Okay, let's assume, in, okay, something happened when you were dating and you never knew about it. Does it now make you to call off the wedding with the woman you have chosen that this is the woman I want to be with? There are certain things we need to put into consideration in life. A wedding is no joke. God is the creator of every marriage. The reason why God created marriage was for companionship. It's not for two people that want to fight each other. It's not for two people that are in pain. It's not for two people that find it hard to trust each other. It's not for two people that can't forgive each other. Marriage is deep. It's deep. If you're not ready for it, don't go into it. For goodness sake, what would have come over them? I'm sure they must have done traditional. Because in the Nigerian setting, before you must have gone to the church for white wedding, you must have done traditional. Now you've brought you both family together. You've talked to them like, yes, we want to be together. We want to have a family of our own. We want to do this. But you're not mature enough at heart to actually make up certain decisions that would really help you. What kind of marriage are we building these days? Our forefathers did not build this. Men and ladies, I am really disappointed at which people are actually thinking of what marriage is. This is not what marriage is. You cannot have a sacred marriage in the private and you come out in the public to disgrace yourself. Even if there are things that, that went wrong, 
there are ways you can actually go about it maturely you know i don't know what could make this man say no walk around the public allow the the the, the whole street to start videoing what they were doing what kind of marriage are you people doing this is not god's plan this is not good for you this is not good for her this is not good for your future i'm really bittered i'm bittered because people don't know that marriage takes two forgivers to be in it if you can't forgive your partner it's not going to work if you cannot look at your partner like someone who is imperfect it is not going to work I don't, I don't know. I don't know why little things or big things make you just feel, yes, it's time to cut off this marriage. Like you've been waiting for the time to actually break off the marriage. And you won't even think the right way to do, to go about it. You just do it and expose yourself to the whole world. I got to hear a story of two couples who were actually planning to wed. And on the wedding ground, the husband disagreed to continue the wedding. It was a, a case of where the wife was begging the husband. She was on her knees like, hey, please, honey, I'm sorry for everything I've done to you on this earth. Please, let's keep on with this wedding. He disagreed. And for him to disagree, there's no way that the wedding will continue. So the wedding was dissolved. And this lady attempted suicide. She attempted suicide, but along the line, she was saved. She could not concentrate on her job. She could not do anything at all. And the only thing that happened, this thing I'm telling you is a true life story. She had to relocate from where she was to another state right in this Nigeria. And she started working there. She relocated to the state. She started a new life. But along the line, she could not give in into a new relationship. The new relationship that was coming, she was so scared to actually put in uh, love into that kind of relationship. The moment the guy proposed, she almost collapsed. Like, hey, another heartbreak is just knocking on my door. But before you know it, the guy was, uh, was like, I think, a captain in the military. The guy was like a captain in the military. And the guy was actually doing well. So the guy, after a while, they got married. When they got married, the guy was very happy. Like, yes, he has gotten her. They got married. They started living their life happily. Along the line, the guy got a bigger promotion. After getting that promotion at work, you know, they gave him car, they gave the wife car and all of that. And he was, he was so impressed. He was happy with the marriage. And he decided to get an oddly that would be driving the wife. Guess who the oddly was? The oddly was the same guy that left the wife on the altar. <laughs> I tell you, you don't act before you think. Watch this clip now. <laughs> Come to 
is wrong somewhere. Okay. Who? Did you hear that? Oh, my God. I don't know. You don't know. They just wait. They just say no marry again. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to do anything. If you actually listen to this clip very well, you will know that he made a statement. He said she cheated. For goodness sake, did she cheat on your wedding day? Did she cheat before the wedding? What exactly is the cheating about that you couldn't have solved it before wedding day? You got the news on the wedding day. Who is the person that gave you the news that you have not even found out yet before making the decision? I don't know who to blame here, whether the wife or the husband. All I'm concerned right now is to make People learn from this kind of thing. If you're not matured enough for a marriage, don't go into it. Be prepared for a lot of things. Be prepared for the imperfection of your partner. And that's why I want to make the comment section open. Please drop your comment below this particular audio. Let us know what you think. Let us feel what you feel about this particular couple. And I want you to also share this clip with others you know. It could help. Do not forget to hit the like button and share it on your social media platform. Let's hear what other people have got to say about this. Thank you all for staying tuned to this channel always. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Also turn on your notification bell to get notified on each time we do a post. We do our post every Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Stay tuned. Make sure you watch a lot of more videos via playlists. We have a lot, a lot you can imagine. Thank you all for staying tuned. And remember, I'm just waiting for your comment right under this particular audio. Send us your questions on the email as you can see. And um, we are going to be attending to all your mails as you send it. I remain Anwakama the relationship and love mentor. Bye.